In this tutorial, you'll be learning how to approach an airport for landing. You're flying in a Piper Cub about five miles northwest of the Eagle Creek Airport, which is directly ahead of you. Adjust the throttle to maintain about 70 miles per hour for the approach. The runway in use right now at Eagle Creek is runway three, which runs right to left. To land, you first need to line up with the runway. Waypoint markers have been placed to suggest a good flight path for the landing. Remember, to look around, move the hat switch on top of your joystick, or press and hold the spacebar, then move the mouse. Turn to the right now to follow the markers. The mission compass in the upper left corner of your screen will point to each marker in sequence. Look to the left. You should be flying parallel to the runway as we fly past the airport to set up for landing. At this point in an approach, you would normally slow the aircraft down to prepare for landing. This Cub is slow enough that you don't need to slow down. Just keep flying at about 70 miles per hour. At this point, we're flying on what is called the downwind leg of the traffic pattern. Now make a gentle turn to the left onto the base leg and follow the markers toward the runway. Try to maintain 70 miles per hour throughout the turn. Great. Now turn on to final and line up with the last three markers. Adjust the throttle to slow down to 60 miles per hour. The runway is at an altitude of 794 feet. Adjust the throttle to slow to 55 miles per hour. As you near the runway, reduce the throttle all the way 
and very gently pull back on the stick to level off. Stay as close to the ground as possible without landing. Eventually, the wheels will touch down. You're doing well. Keep it steady. You're almost there. Reduce the throttle all the way to idle and get ready to land. Great, you're on the ground. Coast to a stop or apply the brakes. You've done it. You've successfully landed.